Hello everyone, I'm MZ and I'm going to show you how to navigate my animator. So this will be part 1 of the video. So in the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you the basics of my animator. On moving stuff, rotating, scaling, bending, and probably transforming. Not the kind of transformer you see. I'm going to turn seen. into a truck now. Anyways, so let's head straight into it. So here we have Minimator. So here we have Minimator Community Build. This is the version, the version, the Community Build version 1.0.1, 1.0.0. I mean, and this is gonna, this is the latest Community Build that's currently in the public. They're currently working on the next update, which, which will be coming soon. So. So the first thing we want to do in Mining Mirror is create a new project. Obviously, so this is the window tab for creating a new project. So this is the project name and the project auditor. You already know. Just put your name there and the project description. You if you want to put like if you if like you you want to share share this project to someone, you can put a description on what you what do what what they're supposed to do with this project. It's, it's helpful unless if you even care putting a description on it so so this is gonna be let's just name it navigating navigating my meter and this is the father it's me and the description is going through I can't type going through the basics basics create a project so by default, my name is going to be on light mode. So if you want to change the UI, the color scheme, you can just go to edit. And if you look down here, preferences, and just go to the interface, interface tab, and just click on this, the theme to dark. And you can also customize the accent color, like, whoa, mm -hmm, rainbow. Anyways, so first things up, this is the viewport. This is your work camera, and this is the, the cur currently this this isn't gonna appear when you first open a new project or create a new project. So it will only appear when you open in the if you, when you open the workbench and import the camera. So currently, I'm in the advanced. Hold on, I this is not the the original state of my neighbor because in simple mode supposed to be a different it, that's supposed to be this one where, where is it oh let me just find it i may have for the sep i i separated two models so this is what you'll see this is the move tool which you could press g currently there's nothing you can't move anything so if you want to move the camera this the viewport just hold left click and you can go around it this is gonna be the center like okay it, it's not the center it's the center of where your mouse is or not yep it's the center we're gonna be rotating on where we on where we spawn because it's minecraft it's just my mirror for for animating minecraft and minecraft stuff well he called it stuff anyways let's import something first let's import speed I am Steve. So this is the move tool. You can move Steve around with this. There's this three axis. The X axis, which is this one, goes left and right. And then the Y axis, which goes up and down. And the Z axis, which goes forward and backwards. If you want to change the or you want to change the orientation, and you want to flip the. And you want to make the Y axis into the Z axis because in some in some other software, animation software or any kind of 3D software, you can in other softwares the Z is the up one like that. This is the instead of the Y axis being up and down, the Z axis is the up and down. But I'm not used to that. And let's just turn that off. You can find the preference in the edit tab. In the edit 
like on the left corner just go there at the left corner and you're done so this is gonna be so right now we can move with this with this axis up and down left and right forward and backwards and what's these these are playing gizmos which you can basically move around you can move in any axis but in the z axis only which you can see i can't move it forward it's supposed to be moving forward but it's not it's in this it's in this plane like for example a plane hold on let me import a plane so i can okay. so if i when i import a plane it's like in a flat surface it's in this in this one plane like imagine yeah yeah you don't have to imagine i can just put a surface right behind it and if when i move it press g again it's like in this it's in this state in this plane the plane is most in the z you can move it in the z axis if i rotate the camera it will now be on that plane i rotate oh no oh yeah press r to rotate so when i when i did when i disable the separate tool separate tools this is what happens when you don't separate the tool models when you when you press when you press the g tool the g the r the rotate tool when you press the move tool the rotate tool and the bend tool everything appears except for the scale that's not that's separated you can just press these and then the bend tool won't appear because the surface doesn't have a bend unless i click on these unless i click on it there you'll see that you can bend and rotate you can you can also add the move tool but it does but the arm doesn't have to move unless you're doing for a stylized animation you can move you can move the arms around anyways back to where we are the plane gizmos in this plane of area and this and in this in the x x axis of the the excuse me oh my god i do not i do not know how to call it let's just let's just call it the z the z gizmo the z plane the z plane you can move it on this axis and if, it, and if i move it and move this one over here it's in this plane okay let's just hold on reset that if you want to reset all values just click this it resets all values if you don't want to reset all values you can just Hover your mouse cursor on any of these axes or axes, and just click, click, right click, and then you can choose to reset. You can also cut it or copy it, and or copy all values and move it and paste it on some on another Steve or any object you want to paste the position of it. Yeah, this is the global. Uh, anyways back to where we are the basic moving we're still in the move tool let's remove these 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 tools and what's this uh i do not remember what it what is called okay well i don't know what it's called but it's the middle one basically you can move it in any direction left right anywhere well it depends on where your face your camera your viewport your work camera is facing like if i move here I can move it from over there okay not like that if i move it I can move it anywhere depending on where you're facing in the work camera so i can move it here and also up here or over there so basically it, it doesn't so basically you can move it anywhere in any axis this is this man anyways now we're done with the move tool let's go to the rotate tool you already know how to rotate, right? Rotate your arm. It's the the Z axis. It's the Y axis. It's not it's not rotating upwards, but because I moved the Z axis first before the Y axis, but still not the up position. It's the let's just call that the ro the Y axis. Let's not let's not go explaining so much of it. Oh, I was looking at the position tab. Anyways, you can rotate it from the X axis, the Z axis, and the Y axis. You can also rotate it from this from this tab. Rotate from here, rotate like that, and then 
Hi, okay, hold on. Steve says hi. Hi, I am Steve. Anyways, we're done with that. Let's move on to the scale tool. We're because that's the, the next part. So what does it do? It basically scales it. Wide Steve. Anyway, we have tall Steve and wide Steve. Okay, this circle, this gizmo, it basically scales in all axes. But you can do, you can also do it here, which combines scale and it will it will hide every axis at every axis. Bear with me. Bear with my bear with my English. I am not English. I am not Johnny English. Anyways, it's com it combines all the axes X Y Z, and if when you scale it, it scales from that it from all axes axes these X. Man, I hate axes. Guy named Axis. Sorry. Anyways, this is the Y. The Y the Y axis of scaling. The, the X axis. And the Z axis. Looks like a reindeer. Anyways, so this this is also a also called a playing gizmo, but it, it's in the scale in the scale tab. You can scale it from the Y axis and the X axis, but you can't scale it from the Z axis. It looks flat, quite flat. You can you can scale it from this axis, and you can <laughs> and you can scale it from the from this axis as well. Oh god, what have I done? What have I done? <laughs> Anyways, let's just press Ctrl Z and you undo everything else. And now the last tool, which is the bent tool, only the body, the arms, and the legs can bend. The bent tool you can bend from the, from the X axis, the Z axis, and the Y axis. It's the same as rotation, but it bends rather than rotating. It bends the rotation. Does that make sense? My, it's my it's my grammar, right? Anyways, you know the drill, you can bend it anywhere. Bend it like that, bend it over here, bend it up, bend the leg there, and then bend it like that. And you got yourself a stair leg. Okay, let's just redo that and then we're done. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what once once separated, when I separate the tool modes, there's more stuff, more tools. So this is the select tool. So it's basically just selecting any kind of object in the, the viewport. Just click on him and then click that. It all selects. And this and the shortcut for this is W. So for the move tool, there you go. So re remember, shortcuts are very important because it speeds up the process. Your for your over your overall workflow in animating or making basically anything shortcuts are friends shortcuts are blah blah blah, blah. shortcuts is man i okay shortcuts is our friends so so it's still the same thing move tool same thing you can still move it you're playing this oh i cut oh no i'm a knife the rotate tool oh yeah when you hold right click and press r it resets the camera from where it originally is Press V and you'll you'll get teleported where where your where where the object you're selecting right now. Press V. Okay, I press I, I press Steve's head and press V. I get teleported to Steve's head. There are a lot of shortcuts you want to know. You can you can go to preferences and go to controls and learn all the shortcuts that are available in Mindmere. There are quite many. We'll talk about it in the next part of this video. So we have the move tool, the rotate tool, the scale tool, and the bend tool. So what's this? A new tool called the transform tool. So it's basically all the tools combined. It's still the same, but without, but having to separate all the tools, you get the transform tool. You can scale it, you can move it, you can rotate it, you can move it anywhere, but you can't bend it unless you click on the bendable okay you can't bend it you can bend it in this tab but you can't bend it you can't the bend tool isn't gonna appear for some reason 
because it's only the transform tool it the transform tool is everything that you can transform the position the rotation the scale but not the bend that's a different property that, that, that's a different property yeah trying to be enthusiastic with this tutorial now because I feel ashamed of myself being just being a boring having a boring voice but anyways now we're done that's the last tool so for now that's that's going to be all for now there's gonna currently we're gonna be in simple mode i'm going to show you how to use mine in simple mode we'll go i'll make another one but in uh, i'll make the advanced mode in a separate video of navigating navigating because i'm gonna mostly be talking about the other features the advanced features that won't be in simple mode so i'll I'll already I'll talk about the basics in the simple mode, but in the advanced mo advanced mode of mining mirror, I'm going to be talking about the the other the other features that aren't available in simple mode. There's a lot of stuff in here that you won't be able to click. Oh yeah, so the first time you okay, I'll put that in another video after this one. So I'll see you I'll see you guys in the next video. And hope you learned anything on how to move stuff. Not just moving stuff, a lot. This part one of navigating through mining here. See ya. Should I make a render? Nah. Oh, I'm supposed... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna make a render. You thought, you thought I'm not gonna make a render because it's a quick one. Let's go then.